It was created as a propaganda image to strike awe among the masses. The pharaoh as deity, beautifully and naturalistically carved some 3,000 years ago. Unmistakably to those who know these things, the face of the boy king Tutankhamun. Almond eyed, high cheekboned, full sensual lips. But was Christie's right to sell this statue at auction? This is a black day for archaeology. I think they should be embarrassed. I think they should be ashamed. I am angry, and you have to be angry. The whole world has to be angry, because there is no ethics here. Ethics or not, here was the statue for all to see under the bright lights of a London sale room. The Egyptian authorities wanted the auction postponed, say it breached international agreements. They demanded proof that the statue left Egypt legally. They asked the auction house for documentation about the statue's provenance and say that they didn't get it. Christie's refute this. Uh, so we have been in touch with the Egyptian authorities, both in Cairo and the Egyptian embassy here, and we informed them about the sale uh, even before the catalogue was published. And so we have a collaborative uh, relationship with them, and we've given them all the information uh, that we have over the piece. Christie's has a role to play in providing a transparent and legitimate market. Um, we would never offer a piece where there's any concern about the provenance. Dr. Hawass believes that the statue was removed illegally from the temple of Karnak near Luxor sometime after 1970. Again, Christie's dispute this. They say their research shows that the piece has been in a European collection since the 1960s. The statue is carved from brown quartzite. Not only is it very beautiful and very rare, but the subject, of course, has been a celebrity for almost a century. Tutankhamun is the king of the kings. Tutankhamun is unique. Tutankhamun is different. Tutankhamun matters because he's famous. We've all heard of him because, uniquely, his tomb was found in 1922 with all its golden treasures intact. These treasures will be the main attraction when the new Grand Egyptian Museum finally opens near Cairo next year. Despite the auction, the Egyptians say they will persist in their attempts to recover the statue. Nick Glass, CNN, in London.